Oh, it's a nice day out. The sky isn't clear, but it is sure warm out here today. Such a strange January we're having. Much, much warmer than our seasonal usual. But I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Hey, could be worse. We could be having normal temperatures. Minus 50. There's still a long way to go till spring. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? What do you see out there? What do you see? You see a ghost? No? Come on, finish your business. I'll go inside. Come on. Don't mess with the poopa scoopa. Don't mess with the poopa scoopa. been busy you know how I am starting up that live streaming thing going on on my other channel there well we used to have the internet or the computer out here right right close to the internet which is in that corner there well we moved that to the back room over there so it's a little bit of a separate office I can sort of do my own thing there and I don't have to shut down the whole house for a live stream I can just close the door and do my thing in there and we can do whatever we want in here right why is this blanket here one second one second. That is... One second. This is an emergency. They have to be folded. One second. Are you like that too? Do you have to have everything folded? Drives me crazy. But it's usually me. I think it was actually me that left the blanket there, so I drive myself crazy. So what I've done was, uh, because we need a wired connection in that bedroom back there, right? And this is where our internet comes out, right at the corner over here. So my only options were drill through wall after wall after wall, to get the cord to that room there and keep it hidden or drill through the floor into the crawl space go under the house drill up into the office or, or whatever create a hole there and have the cable running under the house that would have been the cleanest probably the best option but i don't want to drill holes in my floor so i came up with this i bought a 150 foot long ethernet cable way too long I didn't need to make it that long, but I wanted to be sure I had enough. Okay. And so now I got it going along the baseboard back behind there, back behind there. And do you even see it? 
Do you see it? Well, of course you do because I'm telling you to look now, but if, if I didn't tell you anything, would you see that cord there? You probably still would because I'm talking about it, right? Now your mind is focused on it. Whatever. Goes up along the baseboard there, goes up there. We'll put like a tree here. Maybe we'll move Phyllis or maybe we'll get like Phyllis a, a friend or something and put her in the corner here, whatever. And then I gotta go in along the bottom of this huge crown molding we got on this house. And the only place you could, it really pops out is right at the corner here, right? But it's on the roof. People aren't usually looking at the roof unless if you're like a builder or something and, and checking out the work. We didn't do this painting. The painting wasn't that built. wasn't that good. But see, and it goes all the way along here. Under there. Down right in the corner here where you can barely see it. Under the door. And along the baseboard there. To here. That's not too bad, right? Can you tell if there's a cord up there? Well, of course you can, because I told you to look. But if I wouldn't have told you anything, did you notice it before? Because we did walk down the hallway here, didn't we? Did you notice it? Probably not, right? So now we have a wired connection right in here. We got our internet speed tested here. It says 13 megabits per second download, 14 upload. Let's try it again. It's supposed to be up to 500 megabits per second download and upload, but at least it's at a steady about 14. Before when it was on Wi-Fi, it was, it could have been anywhere from seven to like uh, to 18. But now you got a steady, strong internet signal and make should make our streams a lot smoother. There you go. It has already increased the uploading. Uh, to upload my vlog here on Wi-Fi, it would usually take about eight to 10 minutes. And with the wired connection, it takes about three minutes. That's what I've been up to. Busy. What do you do on your day off? It probably seems like we eat a lot of junk. But we don't. I just get really excited when we get to eat junk, so I usually vlog about it. And then I realize it probably looks like that's all we eat. It's not true. We actually eat uh, much better than this, but whenever we have a treat, I like to share it. And this fuel tank doesn't fill itself, you know. So we probably have a little, maybe have a little bit too much, okay? Whatever, you only live once. Diesel. You already know what's missing, don't you? You don't even want it. It's not pizza without wench, man. It's not pizza without wench. Absolutely right. It's not pizza. Until there's some ranch on it. Well, tomorrow is the start of the week for me. Starting my week on Tuesday. So you know we gotta start it with a clean truck, right? So I've got to get fuel also, so we may as well start off the week with a full tank of fuel and a clean truck. Then I feel good about myself, because you usually don't have time to wash the truck during the week. And if you do, you don't want to waste what little time you have in the evening washing your vehicle. You want to go home. Spend your time at home, right? So I figure I get it washed today. muzzle got my spare muzzle I got a few more spares in there just in case you know just in case you need extras so that I don't bite anybody so it's been a great weekend I hope you guys have had a good weekend as well spent relaxing mostly I'm getting ready to start this new week off and oh excuse me 
Oh, I'll be heading to bed soon, I guess. Oh, it feels later than it is. I've been sleeping in every day this weekend, and it seems that even if I sleep in till like nine o'clock, I still feel like I got up at five in the morning. So really, I may as well just get up at five and get going on the day, because I'm just as tired. It doesn't help. What's the gas price now? A uh, dollar six per liter. Oh, it went up again. Uh, it was 95 cents a liter last week. Pretty sure anyways. What, I want 11 cents over the weekend? Oh man. Oh, oh yep, I'm tired. Almost forgot, almost forgot, almost forgot to wash this this girl before the week started. I like showing up in a clean truck, especially at the beginning of the week. I usually wash it on the weekend, show up in a clean truck on Monday so it's a clean slate. A clean start to the week. And then if it gets dirty throughout the week, it depends how dirty. If there's an emergency wash needed, we'll spray her down once. But as long as we start the week off on the right foot, I find that the... I feel a lot better about myself throughout the week. Just like me, I like having a shower in the morning. Some people shower in the evenings, right? I shower in the mornings because I like to start off clean and otherwise I feel, I don't know, I feel like the day hasn't, wasn't started on the right foot. Is that just me? I'm locked out. Oh no. Oh, Shelby, did you lock me out? Did you lock me out? Hey. No, no, I can hear you. I can hear you. Diesel. Commander. What? What? Alright, it's been a while since we've done one of these, right? And now I've got this fancy, like, cheap green screen thing that we can use. And I'm down here in the corner, and we can actually have me on the same screen as your comments. Actually, you're on this side. I've got to go this way, so I'm pointing this. Your comments over here, and we can go through some of your comments and read through them a little bit. Uh, I thought this would be fun. Uh, my friend Troy does this all the time on his channel. Uh, Troy and Angie over on Beyond 1031. Have you guys checked out their channel yet? It's always linked down below in the description of every one of my videos. I figured it'd be, be nice to go through through some of these here. I mean, you got... I'm not going to read them all. Uh, I apologize, but we can read them all on the screen here. Uh, but just for time's sake, I, I, I'm not going to read every single one, but I did go through them all. Or I went through most of them. These are all new ones that just popped up now. And uh, I wanted to comment on some of them. Like Wild Bill. Oh, but yo, Josh. Well, there is a fire department. That means, oh, yes, in low German. Well, there is a fire department that you can drive trucks and do a whole lot of things. The Canadian Armed Forces have trucks to drive many other cool things. You will get your place in the sun. I've thought about doing things like uh, the military. Uh, when I was 18, I had my application all filled out. I even thought about going in the Navy. I know a prairie boy going in the Navy, right? That would be weird to be stationed out in like, Nova Scotia or British Columbia. But I was going to go into the army and uh, I would love, I wanted to drive one of those, uh, what are they called? Coyotes. Uh, it's like an eight wheeled, uh, armored, light armored vehicle. I uh, thought that that would be pretty fun. Uh, Richard Boltz is super duper. Maybe I spelt that wrong. I don't know if there's a correct way to spell it or not. <laughs> Big fan. Been OTR for a few months now. Getting the hang of it. Getting better every day. Enjoy all your videos. And your calm demeanor is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It helps when I can uh, uh, read nice comments like that. And it really encourages me. Up here at the top is Kimberly Shallaby. Wrote a nice long comment here. Uh, says that when one door opens, or when one door closes, another one opens. And that's that's one thing that I believe. If if a door shuts on you, it could it's most likely for a reason. And there's always a second door. Sometimes you just got to look for it. Sometimes it plops itself right in front of you. In this case, uh, it sort of plopped myself, plopped itself right in front of me, and I'm very thankful for that. So I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Jeff Salyer says, Canadians are so nice. Keep up the great attitude and go wild. Minnesota. 
It's talking about the Minnesota Wild, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, I'm going to reply here. We try. Go. Jets. Go. All capital letters. So it's like yelling. Go, Jets, go! There you go. Oh, i got to actually press the reply button. There you go. Ha! Mark Simus. Simus. Baby making, Josh. That's one of my many names. Yes, we are trying to have a baby. And uh, it has required a lot of practice so far. But so far, I think we're getting the hang of it. And eventually, hopefully, it'll take. Now I'm home all the time, and I'm not going to miss any uh, certain windows that I should be here for. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully this month. We shall see. We shall see. No news to share with you yet. Big Ruger says, we told you so. <laughs> yeah, you warned me. Yeah, so this was the video uh, that, I, like I said, that I released yesterday. It's a trucker's life on to new things. This is me talking about it. it didn't work out with the uh, uh, with the grain hauling. And uh, it's for the better. It, it turned out that that door closed, another one opened, and uh, I'll be much happier. So it all worked out. Uh, Tom S. says, not every job is right for everyone. Sometimes you just know a job is not right, and it's better to get out while you're ahead and run through the mud uh, than get, n get run through the mud. Got you. A couple of years back, I tried working for a company that was run by some of the best people I have ever met, but the condition of their equipment was terrible and often unsafe. Yeah, it's... It definitely makes a huge difference who you work for. You have to like who you work for. You have to get along with them. you got to spend a good portion of your life with them. You see them more than you see your own family a lot of the time. It's sad when you say it that way. But it is important that you get along and have good chemistry. Very true. Uh, Roy Hobbs says, Lyft and Uber looking for help. I have looked into that. Uber is in Winnipeg now. I looked into that. However, I have to live in Winnipeg. Because in order to become an Uber driver, I have to get a police criminal record check. And Uber in Winnipeg does not accept RCMP, like Royal Canadian Mounted Police record police record checks. That's a federal police service. That's the police service we have where I'm out, like where I am out in the country. They only accept Winnipeg Police Service criminal record checks. And if you go to the Winnipeg Police Service criminal record check website, you have to be a resident of Winnipeg for them to give you one. So it's impossible for me to get a job with Uber because I can't get a Winnipeg criminal record check because I don't live in Winnipeg. I live just a little ways outside of Winnipeg. I know, it was a big bummer. I thought that would have been pretty cool. Maybe they can work it out and make it work yet, but that is a little bit of a glitch so far. Us that live just outside the perimeter or a little bit, a little bit uh, further than that, we can't work with Uber. And they lose a lot of potential employees and or a lot of intentional potential workers and drivers because of that. So I did uh, try. I even sent in the criminal record check for me, which is clean from the RCMP out here. And they didn't accept it. I tried like three or four times. They said, no, it has to be a Winnipeg police record check. I got something on my nose here. One second. Ow! I had to pull out a nose hair been bugging me all day what you see in a trucker josh vlog right i apologize let's carry on like nothing happened okay that, not, that didn't happen rick baxter stop leaving him in such a small room well this room is quite a bit bigger than the truck we used to travel in <laughs> and it's a lot larger than a kennel and this way, it's for their own safety. They stay in the room here because it, it is for their own safety. Uh, he's talking about Diesel uh, staying in this room. They got a king size bed to lay on. They got each other to keep each other company, and they're safe. They won't hurt themselves, and <coughs> and they also won't uh, won't damage the house at all. <coughs> Excuse me. I just finished my live stream, so I've been talking for almost two hours already. <laughs> Same thing there. Uh. TJ is 74. <clears throat> I think I'm good. I don't have my water in here now, do I? <laughs> hey, Josh, did you get your doubles endorsement? Uh, I don't have to get any kind of special endorsement to pull Super Bs up here. I just need to be trained on it so that I, I uh, can back up efficiently. And, uh, <clears throat> no, I didn't. I didn't. All right, all right. 
All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause it there for a second and go grab my water. Believe it or not, I'm not used to talking for two hours at a time. I usually break it up throughout the day. <clears throat> so we were talking about uh, this doubles endorsement, right? Yeah, I didn't get my training that I wanted, so I still don't have experience on Super Bs. Uh, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Uh, Tony says, do what you gotta do, no need to explain everything to us. I appreciate that, Tony. Thank you. And Randy says, the whole dust thing would get old. I noticed you were pretty dirty the second day. Sounds like day three sucked. Yeah, I was very dusty and dirty. I had to take my jacket off when I got into my pickup, and I was filthy. Uh, I, try I avoided most of the dust, like inhaling most of the dust myself, because luckily there was a breeze that took all the dust away from me, so as I unloaded... I just stand, I, st I just stood up wind so that all the dust would go away from me. But I did get a face full once when I was cleaning out the trailer, and I definitely felt it right away. As my sinuses just closed right up, and I I can tell I should have been wearing a mask, but uh, they didn't provide any, and uh, I don't think they do. So I guess the guys there just either got to pay for their own, or uh, I guess suffer the consequences of having all that grain dust in your lungs. Especially for if you got a little bit of allergies like me, maybe it just wasn't meant for me. <clears throat> Paul Weiss says, you're correct. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I started with another company last January I thought would be awesome. They paid for every little thing. They paid for parking, opened an account at Blue Beacon, $25 an hour detention. That's nice. $2,000 sign-on, holiday pay, of course, mileage. That does sound nice. But they had... 150 mile per hour dispatch, 70 mile per hour trucks. <laughs> and yet, it took six or seven days to get 22 to 2400 miles a week. A lot of loads were late when I picked them up. Heck, I didn't even have time to stop and pee. The dispatch? Well, so I up and quit and went back to the company I'd been with years before. Which is, uh, I've heard stories of that, horror stories. You know, it. you really gotta fish around for... A good company. I I know of, of a couple already, and uh, <clears throat> now I only have experience with one that I don't like. But uh, there are some really nasty companies out there that I haven't checked out at all yet. But I've heard horror stories from you guys in my comment sections, and when you guys send me messages, uh, they can get pretty bad. So you got to be careful who you work for. Be a little bit choosy, but at the same time, you got to pay the bills, right? A job's a job sometimes, so I understand that as well. But you got to try to be. In a place where you're happy. Bruce Kimmel. Did you say positive? <laughs> I did. Positive. I'm going to thumbs that up too. I already hearted it. Zombie Guy says, just don't leave the dogs out of the videos. Oh, don't worry. They're the stars. I know you guys love them more than you love me. I understand and I am totally okay with that. They will be in the videos. <laughs> Beth Knapp says, uh, best wishes to you on your new journey. Hope it goes well. And James Oliver says, follow your dream as a police officer. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. But the thing is that I have the last 10 years of my life daily on the internet. Uh, so that would have to come to a stop. I can't vlog as a police officer. And uh, maybe that would be something I'd be interested in. It hasn't left my mind and I haven't taken it off the table. Sort of on the back burner. It is something that I'd love to do. I'd love to be a police officer, and I'd love to be the, the guy people call, you know, when they need help. I'd love to be the guy who shows up and saves the day, maybe uh, resolves a domestic dispute, or saves someone from getting abused, maybe uh, save a child from being kidnapped, <clears throat> maybe uh, stop someone from going 200 miles an hour down the freeway and killing someone and themselves. Getting the bad guys, getting the robbers, maybe something even higher level like detective work and stuff. Who knows? I'm not going to rule that out. For now, I'm still going to focus on trucking because that is my number one passion. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, that was just a few of your comments anyways. We, uh, we do still have more to go through, but we've already been uh, going through this for about 12 minutes here already. And I don't want to uh, sit here for too, too long and make this vlog an hour long. Uh, <laughs> some of you might not mind but uh, we'll do this more often I like this comment review idea I like uh, 
showing you guys that I am reading your comments and I do go through there and I appreciate all of them. Thank you very much. What do you guys figure? What do you guys figure? You figure anything? You figure? No? What are we talking about? You guys want to go outside? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. pillowcase on the wet rug. Oh, no. I'll get it. Thanks, babe. Saved. Wow. You're my hero. Super trucker. I know. Not just a super trucker is what I should say. Okay. One second, guys. Let me get out of your way. Are you taking a motor or do you want me to take a motor? I already got my jacket on. That is convenient. My boots are ready there. Cool, I'll thank you. I'll take them out if you switch over the laundry. Laundry Josh, at your service. <laughs> thank you. Cool. All right, guys. Look well, everybody, I have a job to do, as you heard. And I've got to go to bed. Got to get up. Big day tomorrow. So the way we'll do it tomorrow is we will chat in the morning, and then we'll chat later on in the evening. How's that sound? I don't quite know exactly how it's gonna work yet, but. Let me know if you guys like that comment review that we just did. Uh, maybe we can do that more often. Maybe we can make it a separate video altogether. Like release the vlog in the morning, let you guys watch it and comment on it and do your thing. And then in the evening, I could go over the comments with you and read them, respond to them live in a video like that. And then post it later that evening or something, or maybe the next morning with the video the next day. I don't know, let me know what you think. I thought that that was kind of neat and a way we can interact together. I've got to go to bed, so, uh, well, first I've got to change the laundry over. I better get on that. She's going to be back inside soon, and I better have made some progress. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Mmm.